Howdy viewers, Dano here from Dano's channel. So today we're going to be changing out the brakes or the disc brake pads in the boat trailer with some nice shiny new ones. So the old ones look, they're, they're not in bad nick but they are a bit rusty and uh, I have had a, a bit of a separation from the lining and the backing plate. So we're going to be chucking on some nice new ones. These aren't, aren't expensive, grab them from any trailer repair joint. No, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off by jacking up our trailer and pulling the tyre off. Now I've already loosened the wheel nuts off before jacking it up. Next thing I'm going to do is throw some axle stands under it just in case this jack fails so it's nice and safe when I'm working under it. jacked up and our axle stands are in place we're going to let the jack down take it out get it out of the way so we can work on the trailer without it bothering us this dust that's come out of here avoid breathing that if you can there's a potential for it to have asbestos fibers or something like that into it that might make you pretty crook down the track Pull the wheel off and put that out of the way. And here is the brake assembly that we're going to be working on. So there's a couple of bolts over the back here. There's one at the top and one down the bottom there. I'm going to pull them out. That'll let me swing this up out of the way and then I'll be able to pull my pads out of the top. Always remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. You notice I did that one up a little bit first, that's just to crack any uh, any binding that there might be on that. All right, I'm going to whip this top one out almost all the way and then move on to that bottom one. These are going to be pretty rusty. Well, uh, pretty much everything that's exposed to salt water, no matter how well you wash it, ends up covered in bloody rust. When I put these bolts back in, I'm going to put a little bit of anti seize on the thread, just to make it a little bit easier. It's time I come to do it. Probably doesn't need it. Anyway, 
hear all them cars going past. Actually doing this and the footpath in front of my house. It's just after the old mad mum hour. bolts all the way out we're going to take our brake caliper off and remove our old brake shoes you can see this bit of a divot here in our caliper we slide our brake shoes across and just lift the old ones out through the top through that bit of a gap That's how simple it is all right check your slack adjuster looks good that back in. Now all we need to do is get our new ones, slip them in through here, drop everything back in, job's right. Okay, here's the first of our new ones. We're just going to drop that in through that slot, push it across, hold our piston if you will, hold that in there. And the other one we're going to do the same thing. Drop that down in there. Now we just need to spread them out a little bit. them over our disc and whack a bolt back in. Right, they may be a little bit tight. If that is the case, just make sure that cable and everything out the back here it's got enough slack in it to let your the pitman arm that uh, applies the brake to release completely just going to give mine a little bit of a tap with a hammer get it in there just remember it is it is an alloy so uh, take it a little bit easy on it so I reckon that will about do it Now I'm just going to whack a little bit of anti-seize on my threads. Try not to get this stuff on your, your brakes, as the name suggests. It is a, uh, an anti-seize product, so your brakes are probably not going to work too well afterwards. springs are a bit worse for wear. We'll replace them in the not too distant future. For now let's just focus on the brake pads. You notice that uh, there's a bush here. That bolt doesn't pull up all the way tight. That's so that your calipers can slide backwards and forwards as you apply the brakes and as the brake lining itself wears. 
like a self adjuster. I'd love to do this with a ratchet, but no way of getting a ratchet in there. This bottom one. Beautiful. All right, now that that's done, it's time to throw the wheel back on, drop her down, nip up those wheel nuts, and job's done. When you are doing these up, go in a, uh, a diagonally across pattern. So you can just jump the top here first. Go to this one. That one. All right. So once I let this down, I'm going to nip the uh, the wheel nuts up with a, uh, a wheel brace just to make sure that they're nice and tight. Alrighty viewers, what we are going to do is take it for a bit of a, a quick test drive, make sure everything's working the way that it should, and uh, yeah, then button it all up. So let's go. Oh, brake seems to be working nicely, pulling me up pretty quick. Definitely much better than what it was before. I'll oh, just go around the block here, come down that nice hill, just run the brakes down that hill and uh, give it a bit of a chance to bed in, and the job will be right. Alright, there's no smoke or anything like that coming out of the brakes, so that's always a good sign. When I get back home, I will check the hub, make sure it's not too hot. If we do need to back the adjuster off a little bit, we'll do that. I think it should be pretty right. Alright. Does not seem to be any, any heat in that hub? You know, I, I know I haven't driven very far, but uh, if I was going to produce any heat, I would have done it by now. Yep. A little bit of warmth in that one, but that'll be right. All right, guys, so there we have it. Changed out the uh, disc brake pads on our boat trailer. Pretty simple process. Looking at less than 20 minutes to do it. Don't need a lot of uh, expensive tools or anything like that. I think the brake pads cost me about $25. It's a worthwhile investment. I change mine out every every couple of years. So if you've got any friends that uh, aren't all that mechanically inclined, 
they own a boat trailer or something like that and uh, you'd like to share this with them save them a bit of money instead of them taking it down to a uh, marine workshop or mechanics or something like that make sure you share this video with them alright guys that's it for today thanks for visiting don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Cheers. Bye for now.